Okay, we're going to be taking a look at the BMW i8, and this is one of, uh, I like to call them premium cars, where you actually have to use real money to get them, but I got this one from a, another person using in-game money, and uh, it did cost me a lot to get this thing, it took a lot, so this is really one of my favorite cars, and I thought I'd just start out reviewing this one first, so... Let's go look at the interior. So inside we have this really cool futuristic kind of uh, interior here. If I stretch it out, you can see it a lot more. And I like the colors. Uh, orange kind of does fit the outside of this car. It's a little gray. Uh, we have this little screen up here. With a lot of more detail. That's what I noticed about the premium cars is they have a lot more detail than other cars usually do. I believe this does move with speed, yeah it does, but it doesn't, like if you rev it up it doesn't do anything, and yeah it's cool. Steering wheel is alright, it does have the area for the logo, and buttons are detailed as well. And I believe this thing does have a back seat too. Back seat view is very good, you can see just about every detail in the car from here, and it's just gives a really nice view. Uh, the mirrors do work. And the car does have pedals. One thing I like about the IA are these little cut areas around here that you can actually see through. Just a really, really cool feature on these. And the headlights do work. They're off. This is uh, low, high, and then part of the car but I never really focused on these carbon fiber rims and I kind of like them. For some reason I can't really get the brake lights to work unless the lights are actually on. Even then they don't really turn on when you're braking. So I don't know if that's just with the lighting or something but I really just can't get them to work. But the tail lights do work if you put it in uh, reverse. So that's another cool feature. Signals are another cool feature on this. Now on this i8, the turn signals are only on the mirrors, so it works right here, but the the headlights don't have blinkers, and I don't think they do in real life either. Here's another cool design feature, it's another uh, wing area like that, kind of reminds me of the Ford GT. Alright, now that we've gone over design, we should check out how it goes on track. Keep this stock, I know everybody's is going to be different, so I decided to keep this one stock because that's the best way to review it.
So the BMW i8 is a really good car and I would say you'd buy it if you ever had the chance. You would not regret it. It is amazing, it runs smooth, it sounds cool, it looks cool, and just everything about it is perfect. I wouldn't say it's my favorite though, but it is definitely one of the best ones I own. So next I'll either review the Mercedes S-Class or the Lamborghini Urus. So keep an eye out for those. And if you have anything to say about this review, just comment it down below. I'll reply to just about every comment, if there is any. And keep an eye out for the next video where I go back to PUBG.